The Toyota FJ Cruiser is one of the most iconic and beloved off-road vehicles of all time. But, it was discontinued in 2014, leaving many fans disappointed and nostalgic. But what if we told you that the FJ Cruiser might be coming back? Yes, you heard that right. Come let's find out more. Toyota has been teasing some new models this year. In June, they showed a glimpse of a Century SUV along with the new Alphard and Velfire minivans. This week, they also revealed two more SUVs at the end of the Land Cruiser 250 launch event. They did not give any details about these vehicles, but they said they are working on new ways to make cars better. They also said they want to keep the Land Cruiser relevant by making it more eco-friendly, more affordable, and more accessible to people around the world. It seems that the SUV could be the new FJ Cruiser with an electric powertrain. Toyota hinted at this possibility in late 2021, so it is not very shocking that the off-roader might come back without a gas engine. The image released by the company shows the compact Cruiser concept that looked a lot like the FJ Cruiser. There is a possibility that the FJ Cruiser could come back, but this would go against what Reuters reported. The respected news source said in October 2022 that Toyota stopped working on an electric version of the FJ Cruiser and the Crown. Maybe that was the case then, and now the FJ Cruiser at least is back on track. Toyota stopped selling the FJ Cruiser in the US after 2014, but they kept making it until December 2022. This means that Toyota produced the model for almost 17 years before ending it with a special edition for the Middle East that had only 1,000 units. Another SUV was also revealed at the same time as the Land Cruiser 250. It is much larger and has a lower ride height than the FJ Cruiser that can go off-road. It looks like an electric vehicle, and we are curious if it is a Toyota or a Lexus, but it is likely the former based on the context. It does not seem to be the Century-branded SUV that will launch later this year, which is expected to be a Japanese version of the Rolls-Royce Cullinan. Additionally, the 250 is not the only Land Cruiser that Toyota introduced this week. They are also updating the 70 Series, which will turn 40 years old in 2024. It will be available again in Japan. While the Australian model will keep the V8 diesel and 5-speed manual transmission, along with a 4-cylinder diesel with an automatic. The starting price of the 2024 Compact Cruiser EV is expected to be around $35,000. As the launch date approaches, we will have more information about the different trims and prices of the Compact Cruiser EV. The Toyota FJ Cruiser is a car that looks like a box and can go on rough roads. It was first made in 2006 and stopped in 2014 in the United States. But it will still be made in other countries until 2022. Some people liked this car a lot and wanted it to come back. Toyota might be making a new FJ Cruiser that runs on electricity. They showed a picture of a car that looked like the old FJ Cruiser at an event where they also showed a new Land Cruiser. The new Land Cruiser is another car that can go on rough roads, but it is bigger and more expensive than the FJ Cruiser. The picture of the new FJ Cruiser was very dark and hard to see, but it had a similar shape and size as the old one. It also had a name compact cruiser. Toyota said that this car would be good for people who live in cities and want to save money on gas. They also said that this car would be able to go on rough roads because it would have four wheels that could move by themselves. Toyota also showed an update for an old car called the 70 series. This car is very old and has been made since 1984. The new car has a big battery that can store electricity. The battery can be charged by plugging it into a power source. The car can go about 250 miles with one full charge. The car also has a device that can reduce the pollution from the electric motors. The new car is about 168 inches long, 72 inches wide, and 70 inches tall. It has a space between the wheels of about 105 inches. It has a space under the car of about 9 inches. It weighs about 4,000 pounds. The new car has big tires that are good for rough roads. It also has strong brakes that can stop the car quickly. It has a steering wheel, which has multi-touch functions for the media as well as a cruise control system. It has a well-tuned suspension system that can make the ride smooth and comfortable. The new FJ Cruiser is still a mystery. Toyota only revealed that it is a city-friendly and range-efficient car that can also handle off-road terrain. 
they did not announce the launch date or the markets for the new FJ Cruiser, its price, or its specifications. Toyota sells many EVs in America. They have different types of EVs, such as hybrids, plug-in hybrids, battery electric vehicles, and fuel cell vehicles. Hybrids use both electricity and petrol to move. Plug-in hybrids can be charged by plugging them into a power source. Toyota's EV sales in America were about 2.9% of their total car sales in the third quarter of 2023. This means that most of their cars still use petrol or diesel to move. But Toyota is working on making more EVs and selling them in more places. They have 26 models of EVs now, and they plan to have 70 models by 2025. Toyota's EV sales in America are growing faster than their total car sales. Their total car sales increased by 12% from last year, but their EV sales increased by 65%. This shows that more people are interested in buying EVs from Toyota. Toyota sells many EVs around the world. They have different types of EVs, such as hybrids, plug-in hybrids, battery electric vehicles, and fuel cell vehicles. Hybrids use both electricity and petrol to move. Plug-in hybrids can be charged by plugging them into a power source. Battery electric vehicles only use electricity and have a big battery inside. Fuel cell vehicles use hydrogen gas and oxygen to make electricity. In the first half of 2023, which is from January to June, Toyota sold 2.4 million EVs around the world. This is more than half of the 4.9 million cars they sold in total too. Most of their EVs were hybrids, such as the Toyota Corolla Hybrid and the Lexus ES 300H. They also sold some plug-in hybrids, such as the Toyota RAV4 Prime and the Lexus UX 250H. They also sold some battery electric vehicles, such as the Toyota BZ4X and the Lexus RX 450e. They also sold some fuel cell vehicles, such as the Toyota Mirai. Toyota's EV sales around the world were different in different regions. Europe was the region where they sold the most EVs, with 688,000 units. Japan was the second region, with 605,000 units. North America was the third region, with 533,000 units. China was the fourth region, with 283,000 units. Other regions were smaller, with 291,000 units. Toyota's EV sales around the world are growing faster than their total car sales. Their total car sales increased by 5.1% from last year, but their EV sales increased by 37.6%. The Toyota FJ Cruiser, the retro off-road SUV, is coming back as an electric vehicle. But what will it look like? How will it perform? When will it be available? And how much will it cost? Comment your thoughts on this legendary car and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.